Welcome back. Let's go to some breaking updates. Congress leaders Jairam Ramesh, Mukul Vasnik and Pramod Tiwari raised the issue of expungement of Kharge's speech in Rajya Sabha. Kharge himself raised questions and placed their protest asking which words were unparliamentary. जो चीज रूल्स के तहत प्रोसीजर के तहत यहां पर बोली जाती है मैं नहीं समझा कि मेरे स्पीच में कोई ऐसा अनपार्लियामेंट्री और किसी के ऊपर एलिगेशन नहीं था लेकिन फिर भी उसमें आप चुन चुन के चंद शब्दों का गलत अर्थ निकाले ऐसा तो नहीं नहीं बोलूंगा कि आपको उसके बारे में कुछ अगर संशय है तो वो अलग ढंग से पूछ सकते थे We have a Samia live with us. Samia, Congress not taking the deletion. In fact, expungement of portions of speech lightly. Uh, in fact, Kharge has taken strong objection to it. Several Congress leaders that you spoke to have taken strong objection to it. In fact, Kharge questioning the move and asking in the Parliament which words were unparliamentary. Samia, if you can hear me, Congress definitely not taking the deletion and yes. expungement very lightly. They are questioning. In fact, the Rajya Sabha chair, we heard Malikarjun Kharge. They are taking strong objection to it. Malikarjun Kharge, when he went inside the Rajya Sabha, the leader of the opposition, Malikarjun Kharge, when he went inside Rajya Sabha, he had a brief chat with the media personnel, and they did mention that how he has written a three-page letter to the chairman's office uh, speaking. the clarification as to why was his speech uh, expunged since there was nothing unparliamentary or objectionable for that matter and it wasn't just that he also cited in those three lettered uh, uh, you know three page lettered uh, complaint of sorts where uh, malikarjun kharge had also sought examples and past incidents as to why his speech cannot be expunged and the same matter was raised by top congress leaders from the rajya sabha mr uh, pramod tiwari Jairam Ramesh, Malikarjun Kharge, all of these leaders, Mukul Vasnik, had taken it up in the Rajya Sabha, where they had specifically cited the reasons as to why the chair cannot really expunge the speech of the leader of the opposition. He did not make any any references that were unparliamentary or the usage of any physiology or words that were objectionable or inappropriate that doesn't stay in the consonance with the spirit of the house, uh, for that matter. but now of course the chair uh, the vice president uh, jangit dhankar did mention that you know uh, the, the opposition party need not get so agitated they need to go through the entire letter the entire speech has not been expunged but you know we were also putting it out for our viewers as the letter has that has been received by the media contingent that several excerpts have been expunged from mr malikarjun kharge's speech pretty much in line with what exactly happened with rahul gandhi's speech from lok sabha and by and large the charge that the opposition party is making over here is that it's the voice of the opposition party leaders that are being scuttled and censored in that matter when we spoke to the rjd mp manoj jha he says that uh, it's a parliamentary democracy's epitaph that is being written by the present dispensation so the opposition party leaders were visibly very upset uh, with the manner in which the uh, the terminology the phrases from mr malikarjun khadge's speech was really uh, uh, expunged we have to wait and see whether that or this matter is going to get escalated or not uh but clearly the opposition party has registered their protest is seeking clarification and registering the protest against the expungement of the speech several parts several excerpts of the speech of mr malikarjun kharge the speech from the rajya sabha all right thank you samia for all those details so several portions of malikarjun kharge as well as rahul gandhi's speech has been expunged and congress of course calling this undeclared emergency and undemocratic